What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess for the Nintendo GameCube Minimalist Run. Last time, we killed off two of the Poes, and today we're finding the last one. And hopefully, with those stupid little warm thingamabobs gone, I no longer have to worry about being distracted doing this. I better hope so, anyway. Man, that was riveting as all fled. Okay, good, good. Making progress. We're learning things one step at a time. And I think our last pose in this room. Where is it? Oh yeah, you were the uh, big stealthless warrior. Well, I know how to handle you. So, uh, it's just gonna be a few seconds and you'll be gone in no time. Get out of here. Yeah, they die in the same exact fashion as they do in... A Link to the Past it was? Yeah. So, really, as long as you know what to do, they're not worth stressing over about. No, a joke, to be quite frank. I got more water bombs. Eh, every little one counts, I guess. So, let's open this up. Let's see what that earns us. A waste of water bombs. Fantastic. Man, they really did not want you to struggle there, apparently. Oh yeah, wasn't this the room where you had to, like, light these in a specific order or something? I think it is. I'm telling you, man, I can remember so much about this dungeon, it's not even funny. Yeah, it's one of those trial and error things the looks of it. So, let's try to... Oh. That's dumb. You know, I could use a hurricane spin attack right about now. <laughs> Wait, didn't I just like this one? Derp. Okay, we'll this do. No, I won't. I remember Oracle of Ages had something like this too, but it was even more annoying in that game than this one because it, ran it, it was never a set one. So sometimes I'd be spending like 10 minutes just trying to get the right one. <laughs> this one I know it's like a set one. I'm just trying to remember which one it is. Or no, you gotta light them in order. Or do that. That was... Weird. I don't quite know what to make out of that, but... Okay. Man, those crickets are loud. I was watching or listening to the, um... Voice recordings of the past two parts. Just to make sure they went well, and... Yeah, those crickets are very freaking loud. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be a thing, but apparently it is. We get another nice callback to Ocarina of Time by this particular fight. It's one of those guess which one I am type fights, so... There's like so many homages to Ocarina of Time in this one in particular, it's not even funny. In fact, I'm pretty sure you can make an entire bonus video just based off of Ocarina of Time references alone. Whoa, what? Darn it, Al Targeting. <laughs> so, which one is it? 
Wow, that was pixel perfect timing. Mm -mm. That was the last of them. Thank goodness. It only took us about 25 minutes. Like I said, folks, this is going to be quite a long dungeon. So there's not I can do about that for now. Not that it's much of an issue to begin with, but alas! <laughs> to get that John out of the way. And speaking of Johns... Oh yeah! I really don't have any sort of clue as to what that had to do with Johns, but... <laughs> oh, he's lit. Okay. I seriously need to search this room because I, I have a strong feeling that Uku's somewhere in here. I'm just seriously overlooking him. Or her, rather. I'm sorry, I, I'd like to have my shield on hand. It's just one of those situations where you gotta have your character looking all nice and proud and him not having a shield isn't going to help the situation any. That, and I think you need a shield regardless anyway, so... Yeah. Now that I think about it, though, there's one big disadvantage the equipment subscreen has in comparison to games like Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I know, I'm taking, like, the most overrated game ever in people's eyes and, like, comparing it to Twilight Princess. But if there's one thing that bothers me, is that unless you're doing a challenge run like I am, you have no reason to switch back to your past equipment, and that really bothers me. Because, like, in Ocarina of Time, like, even though the big one sword was kind of, you know, um, broken, you still had a reason to switch between it and the Master Sword, because with the Master Sword, I mean, you could use your shields and stuff. And then, like, you didn't really get the Mirror Shield till the end of the game, and then, like, the Mirror Shield can't really reflect Deku Scrub projectiles. <laughs> Bet you didn't know about that. So, it just kind of brings the question... If they went the way they did with the equipment subscreen, like, I can understand switching out the armor with, like, the Zora's armor, because, like, Zora's armor, if you're wearing that against fire enemies, you're gonna take ten hearts of damage. No joke. And then with the magic armor, I mean, it drains rupees as you get hit, and it slows you down if you run out of them. But, again, it raises the question. Why did they have the need to bring a subscreen like that into this game in the first place if the other upgrades are going to be nothing more than, well, better equivalents of what you've already got, you know? I, I don't know, it's always kind of irked me a little bit, especially since this game doesn't have the mirror shield at all. Cause like, <laughs> by the second dungeon of the game, no, before that, you already have the best shield in the game, which is crazy to me. I think they could have like at least waited until after this dungeon to do it since you got the fire errors to deal with and they seem kind of like a non-valid issue if you have the alien shield on hand. Well, I guess Suku's nowhere to be found within this area. Hopefully I run into her soon. <laughs> I say that with a grain of salt, so. So right now we need to go into this room. Fight. Not a mini boss. <laughs> I mistimed that a little bit. I apologize, viewers, for my stupidity. Barely got out of the way there. Seriously, like, where the flint is Uku? I would have found her by now. Am I going to have to go through this entire dungeon without a shield? It's going to suck. Because I'm not planning on using the Hillian shield anytime soon.
Uh, except for maybe the final boss, just for it to look all cool and dignified, I guess. Since having a, sh a different shield there isn't going to make a difference. So. Uh, yep, I can't do anything about that. Wait, it doesn't go up anymore? Oh, it does. I'm just doing it wrong. What's the point of those spikes if you can just come around that way? I don't get that, but... Nonetheless... Whatever. That's the thing, I guess. What? Go away, bubble. <laughs> second, wasn't this the maze-like room? Yeah, I think it is. I'm telling you, man, I remember so much about this dungeon. It's crazy. I don't know why. So far, it seems to be a pretty good dungeon. From what I've remembered. <laughs> and it looks like these things are back. Uh, can you spin attack? Thank you. Oh yeah, you can't dash when these things are on you right away. It's just so you know. Get out of here. So, go over here. Some more death. Yeah, this, I don't think about it. This seems like a much better option. Yeah, why the flood didn't I do this er earlier? Whatever. Guess. So, wait, where was the. Uh... Even as a wolf, we can still pull these things. It's convenient. Can I? Thank you. I was about to say, there better not be any more of those mice enemies. And that looks like a thing that's just sort of there, I guess. Reason to be there. Oh, what? Why was she this far into the dungeon? I don't usually recall Uku being this far into a dungeon. What? Um, okay. I don't get what's up with that. <sighs> That's questionable. Ooh, that looks dangerous. <laughs> Watch as I say that, and it only does like a quarter hearts worth of damage. <laughs> Okay, 
right, so apparently I need to fi find out what I need to do here. Probably need to go into here. A load of shiz nickels out of these guys. Oh! Not be so freaking close to them. Ooh! Double combo. Nice. So. Oh, that looks sick. unsafe. <laughs> Just slow you down at that side. Oh. Yeah, they need more than that. They freaking slow me down all together from trying to get on there. Huh. Gotta be a little bit more careful. Don't be so freaking reckless, Ken. Open when I fight this mini boss here. And doesn't like. Or actually, you know what? Uh, I'm not even worried about a time limit at this point. <laughs> when I beat the mini boss, that's when we end off the video. End of discussion. Give a sword. I guess it takes but one string to be cut for it to get all eight crap and honest. like that broadsword Aaron has in Final T Fantasy X. That's the analogy. No? I'm trying to see if I can think of a better analogy. Mm. Yeah, I've got nothing clever. But, um, unclever analogies aside, uh, this here is called Death Sword. I only know this because I looked up the name of the mini boss track. And I forget what we need to do here. Looks like we need to turn into a wolf because I don't think a sword can levitate by itself. Creepy little joker, aren't you? Seriously, just guess that. I don't remember. <laughs> Ow! Oh man, slow down like there ain't no tomorrow. Seems like a pretty simple boss fight for. Probably taking a while because of the fact that I'm using a Mordon sword, which I probably shouldn't even be doing. Probably not how the game intended me to handle this anyway, but. And it looks like he's invisible again. So we need to hunt him down and bring death upon a sword. Except not because being a wolf is super. Ultra dangerous. 
Since I take double damage and put that here. <laughs> Seems like this is just a long drawn out fight. actually kind of boring. <laughs> I remember reading somewhere this, that this was supposed to be the best mini boss in the game or something. I'm like, I'm sitting here playing it now, thinking to myself, really? I'm not going to lie, I mean, that was kind of boring. It was more of a game of just lather, rinse, repeat, and just wait for the guy to do his thing. <laughs> but then again, I guess a lot of bosses and Zelda are like that, but this one's more notable in that aspect. <laughs> but what I do really like about this mini-boss, however, is the fact that he gives you a very awesome item. A spinner. A very underutilized item from what I can recall. I feel like it's only ever utilized at its best in this dungeon, because except for maybe like three or two heart pieces, and maybe minor little cameos in other dungeons where it's only used to get past stuff. I feel like that's as far as they've taken it, and that's kind of sad, really. It's a really cool item that I really think they could have done more with. And they didn't. It's like I was saying earlier, I thought they used the items from the first three dungeons a lot more than these. Which is sad, considering that the second half's items are way more unique than the others. I don't know. Essentially, I'd like to see another Zelda game, like, bring these items back and use them at a, you know, better height of potential, I guess, if that made any sense. But, uh, I think I'll end off the episode here, so uh, next time, my kitties, I will be back with a new shield, and we will continue onwards with the Arbiter's Ground. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all then.